Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a divine masculine and feminine check in the overall energy of your connection because I just got this deck of mine that I created called Energies of Your Connection. So I wanted to do a check in and I have a bunch of my decks. I think I only have my decks actually. Oh no, I don't. I have all things intuitive. So time apart, some distance will bring clarity. Intuition, you already know the answer you seek. Um, what else do we got from her? Interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. This could be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, oh, sorry, guys. Before I get started, make sure you continue to comment. As I'm approaching 7,000, I'm going to give away probably two of my decks. So I have um, a lot of my decks here, but I'll decide where which ones I'm going to give. I'll probably give away one of these energies of your connection, okay? So we have interference. We also have infidelity, which keeps coming up, cheating, deception, and secrets. These are masculine moods, okay? Moody moon messages, confused, conflicted, questioning, overanalyzing. We have courageous, brave, open, fearless. I like to see that, and this is a cat, so maybe some of you guys are de dealing with a Leo masculine. And we have energized, bright, glowing, and strong. And this is the sun, so another maybe Leo energy here. I never thought about that when I created the deck. The feminine's messages here are, I hope we have another chance, whether this t lifetime or the next. I have defended you to my friends. You are my first choice. I felt like your last. I am so grateful for how you crack my, uh, my heart wide open, even if it hurt like hell. I love seeing this because it reminds me of no matter what happened, the masculine usually comes into the feminine life, feminine's life and really opens her up to so much and like, Yes, it's painful, but there's so much growth and there's so much life that comes from that cracking of the heart chakra. I dream of sitting on your porch listening to music. I made a typo here. Smiling at each other while enjoying a drink on a Sunday afternoon, the simple things. And then it's interesting because this is like sitting outside on the porch. Um, I'll get into my energies of your connection. But then the masculine saying, I regret not choosing you. We have infidelity. I secretly hope to run into you whenever I'm out and about. I don't know how to love as courageously as you do. So I thought this was weird because then we have courageous. So I feel the masculine right now is evaluating something when it comes to his fear. I also feel like he's becoming more courageous. He's realizing it was courage that he was lacking. You know, um, fear and love are the... And when we can't be in love, we're, when we're... In fear, we can't be in love. So, sorry, that's my washing machine. Um, so I feel like the masculine is realizing a lot of what held him back with love was his fears. He's still confused. He's still, I think this is just a reflection of him not being sure of himself, okay? And then I thought this was very interesting. Um, I had planting seeds. This is the energy of the connection. Planting seeds and secret garden. There could really be something about, like, the earth, like... Um, gardening, like with your masculine, um, things that, you know, maybe being outside, being in the greenery was like, like a symbolic image to you. But I also feel like this is secret. And then we have, I secretly hope to run into you whenever I have out and about. So I feel like within the masculine, there's this secret garden where he, you know, dreams of the feminine, where he holds all the memories of the feminine, where he desires and wishes for the feminine. And we have sunny days. So I feel this is sort of like all symbolic of a love that's growing, like planting the seeds, needing the sun, creating a garden. It's like there might be like, you know, growth in his heart of love for this um, feminine. Okay. And then we have kiss and make up. So, um, <clears throat> He may, you know, want to make up with the feminine. He want he might want to kiss the feminine. He might just feel like he wants to rectify things with her. I feel his love is growing. And then we have long lost love. So he feels like maybe this feminine got away. Maybe it's been so long and he still finds himself thinking about it. And he might really like when he thinks of the feminine, think about the good times and you know, just want to experience like happy moments with her. We do have the sun here. And then we have the sun here. There's a lot of energy about the sun. So I feel that like this like dynamic also gives him a lot of life. It gives him a lot of, um, you know, illumination. Like she lights him up, the feminine. So 
Um, I feel, you know, this, they've had time apart. I feel for the most connections, this is a connection where there's been time apart. And I feel like this distance has really, um, helped people to really see things more clearly. Okay. Um, I feel the feminine feels like she just wants to have another chance, whether it's this lifetime or next, like she believes in this connection. She wants to have these memories of like sitting outside, which is interesting with the garden and the seeds. So you can have a masculine that's like into, or you could be into gardening where you got, you just want to sit on the porch, admire like the plants and be surrounded by greenery. Um, the feminine, this is interesting because I regret not choosing you. <laughs> these are so mirrored. This whole reading you were my first choice and I felt like your last and the masculine is saying I'm sorry like I didn't choose you I think a lot of it you know always has to do with fear and this lack of like being a lion just being a little kitty cat when they met okay I'm gonna pull one more inconsistent unreliable unstable and game playing so you know I feel that um the masculine has the inconsistency the con I think it's because of his confusion, okay? It's not an excuse, but it's just like he just wasn't at that place, you know, when they got involved. And now he has regrets. He does regret it. And there was some other party that was involved in this situation that interfered with the growth of them becoming all they could have been, all right? Um, but I feel like now he wants to rectify this. He wants to kiss and make up. He wants to have that physical intimacy with the feminine and he really hopes to run into her and he in his heart of hearts it's like the secret garden what's the song from bruce springsteen um there's another version right but um i don't know the lyrics i'm gonna have to post it but there's like a secret garden within him that like yearns for the feminine that wants this and i feel like the feminine even when the masculine did messed up things she defended him because she always trusted her intuition that this was like a spiritual connection and she feels like he'll ever, forever feel like her long lost love, like this love, this magical love that they had, you know? But I do feel like planting seeds is like, he might be like sending her little signs to plant seeds to let her know that like, we will have this love again. And this time apart has really helped me come to this realization that I do want to grow with you. I do want to build with you still, okay? All right, so, and you guys, this, I'm wearing um, Spring Calm from rising sun oracle and kiwi healing i love these so actually they go perfect with the um planting the seeds the green colors so hopefully that resonated with you guys um and um i'll see you guys soon okay bye